Good morning. I'm standing next to the bin. That's a lovely place. But what am I doing here next to the other bin? This is no bugs needed. And next to the bins we've got this fantastic motorcycle and this fantastic gentleman. <laughs> and thanks to this fantastic gentleman, we actually are here to pick up that fantastic bike. So, yes, let's jump on it and let's go. And I will tell you more. <laughs> but before I will, let's go back in time and let's see how it looked like. So I am on this weird road simply because I'm going to see some other bike. And you will see which one. I guess that might be interesting. Anyway, let's go. So here we go, my friends. Just two weeks after my first test ride on BMW Urban GS, I was again on my bike and I was heading towards a test ride on another motorcycle. And for those two weeks in between, I was thinking which bike should I test ride. When I was at Wollaston BMW, there was Kawasaki Z900 RS, which I checked through and through. I looked at it and I thought, hmm, it's four-cylinder. I'm not a fan of four cylinders. And also, yeah, that weird gap at the back, that's not the bike for me. It's nice, however, I don't fancy that bike. So yeah, that was gone. Then I was thinking about Moto Guzzi V85 TT. And that's gorgeous bike. I really like how it looks like. Especially this version. I love it. Everything seems to be perfect there. Except when I rode Urban GS, I was really enjoying that engine, how punchy it is, how powerful that is. And straight away I knew that Moto Guzzi won't be like that. So I said, mm, I kinda prefer BMW. And also, a Moto Guzzi is like bigger, comfier. But you know what, I prefer simple bikes. I prefer a bit hardcore bikes sometimes. So here you go again, BMW seems to be a better choice. And then I thought, which other bike would I like to ride? And I thought about Triumph straight away. About Triumph Thruxton, which I dislike the gap at the back. Then I thought about Triumph Speed Twin, the same. So I thought, you know, buying one of those two bikes and customizing it first day would be a bit ridiculous. So basically, those choices are gone. <laughs> I wouldn't choose one of those. Then I thought about Triumph T120. And I thought, well, the engine will be punchy, it will be interesting bike. But you know what? It's exactly the same bike. I mean, visually, it's the same bike as my Kawasaki W800. So I thought, why should I buy exactly the same bike as I already had? This makes no sense, except Kawasaki was still, in my opinion, better looking, thanks to the bevel drive, and it was more authentic, and it wasn't water-cooled, which I dislike. Plus on top, cheaper and more reliable. And then I even thought about few other bikes, like XSR 900 or 700, which are ugly. Sorry, I don't like those bikes. And then I thought, hmm, there is nothing else left. Well, there was Ducati Scrambler, which was known for being unreliable, expensive to service, but really cool bike. <laughs> but I didn't want to push my luck that far. That when we talk about safe choices, BMW R90 is a really good option here. It's fun, it's quick, and you know what? I'm riding now to buy the Urban GS, because I liked it. And I straight away thought, if I liked that bike that much, why should I look for anything else? Straight away, that bike gave me smiles. And that's what it's all about. The bike should make you happy. And that one did it to me. So, yes, I simply bought it. The end of story. And yes, I still love my Kawasaki W800. It's authentic, it's great. But I've got it for four years and life is too short. So, if you want to buy good equipped Kawasaki W800, here is mine for sale because I've got already another bike. And the last thing I wanted to mention, you may wonder how the person who enjoys classic motorcycles that much chosen the Urban GS in white color with red seat. Well, the explanation is simple. 
I always enjoyed quirky bikes. I always enjoyed something different. And also I thought for a long time, should I choose rather a BMW Scrambler? And you know what? Because recently you can see a load of classically painted bikes like black Harleys or gray bikes or black bikes. I thought, ah, just screw this. Let's buy something weird. So at the moment still, you are seeing me riding my Kawasaki to see the bike for the first time. But at the beginning of the video, you seen me going to pick the bike with Lucas. And let's go back to that. Just to talk to him, yeah. Because after Christmas, he's going to do a major service. Yeah. So is it this? In his professional opinion, yeah. Would it hang on to then? Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't get any worse. Right. It's just moisture in the neck. So yes, let's jump on it and let's go. And here we go, we've got fantastic weather, 30 degrees, even too hot for Lucas BMW, but on mine it's brilliant. <laughs> and yes, that's my first longer ride on it, except the, well, except the test ride. And now I'm really enjoying that bike, especially that I've got really good road tires. But right now, can you see that light on my dash? It basically means that I don't have fuel. Hmm. So I should go slower. And we are looking right now for a petrol station. But how to find the best possible road to the petrol station? I think that one will be perfect. Don't you think so? Looks good to me. I bet Lucas is happy right now. And if you wonder if you can find molten style hairpins in a Cotswolds? Yes, you can. <laughs> Here it is. I think it's quite a glorious place, isn't it? Just look at those lovely houses here. I also wanted to mention that I won't ruin that sound, that motorcycle sound, by playing the music in the background. Because it's not about the music right now and it's not about video clip, it's about riding this particular bike. <laughs> Just listen to that. Lovely! And one more time. I think it was simply brilliant. Hmm. But now after filling the tank, we will be slowly going home through the Cotswolds. And if you want to watch it, feel free to do that. Because that will be a really enjoyable ride. Well, at least for us. <laughs> Don't told you so, even Lucas looks happy. Well, I guess he was looking happy because we are going to stop somewhere and to eat and swap the bikes. That's what's going on here. But before that... Well, that 
wasn't easy to find a good pub, so we were just looking through the villages. And even some of them were really nice, we still couldn't find a pub. But luckily the views were gorgeous. Well, except some brown brick was ruining it a bit. A tiny bit. Oh, actually, hold on, I shouldn't make a jokes of BMWs anymore. Hmm, that's sad. <laughs> Actually, why not? Now I specifically can, because I own one. But look, by accident we found this lovely village and there we found a fantastic pub, where we stopped. I'm not certain now if that's a famous village in the Cotswolds, but if not, that's really good place to stop. But if it is, yeah, I know why. And here comes our pub, so after a short break, let's just swap the bikes. <laughs> Lovely view, isn't it? <laughs> and that's actually how you shouldn't record motorcycle videos. But yeah, I knew about that, so I didn't do it all the time. <laughs> Obviously now I started making a jokes out of his BMW, how slow it is. <laughs> But it wasn't quite true. It, it's not slow at all. <laughs> it's rather fast. However, the R90 is faster. Okay, let's change the view for something normal. Mmm, lovely bike! Just after that, I recorded really awesome scene with my R90. Unfortunately though, my GoPro had a hangover. And it hanged. Or freeze. And interestingly, why when you lose something, it's always the best scene? Hmm? And I'm not kidding, it was there. It's not a tribute. <laughs> or maybe it is actually. I've got enough of feeling like German police officer from the 80s and yeah, I want to swap the bikes again. For my own, of course. Yes, yes, Jules. I just said it's not a bad bike. <laughs> Well, but that one is better. <laughs> and now I said, damn, my seat is really firm. <laughs> but it's also way faster and more fun. And now after a few corners, junctions and roundabouts, which are to be expected on the Fosway, because it's a straight road at the end, right? <laughs> but anyway, after that, it was time for a last acceleration, because we are getting closer to home. And that's the end of the story, really. So I hope you enjoyed that video, and I hope you will enjoy my new videos, upcoming videos with my new bike, as much as I do. And last thing for today is the information what's coming on on the channel and what's coming on. Actually, the videos will be published irregularly, I guess, because next week we are going to ABR festival in Rugley Hall and just after that, not even going back home, just going to the channel, crossing it to Calais, where we are meeting with our friend and together from there we are going to Biarritz to see Wilson Way's bike festival. 
And from there we will see, maybe we will go to Pyrenees, maybe we will go to Picos, we completely don't know. Anyways, because of that maybe there will be one video next weekend, I hope, and then for the following two weeks it will be only shorts and things like that, maybe pictures on Instagram from the trip. So that's it for now and hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching, cheers!